Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to make a video to help you guys identify what kind of tablet you might want for your art setup, either for beginners who are wanting to start to draw digitally, people who might be on a budget, or people who are looking to upgrade their setup. Just a heads up, XP Pen is having a sale for Amazon's Prime Day from July 10th to the 12th, so I'll leave links in the description if you want to check out some of the models that were shown in this video, so please check them out if you're interested. I just want to preface this video with saying that all the tablets have battery-free styluses from my knowledge, so it shouldn't be really an issue, and none of these products are standalone products, which means that they need to be connected to some kind of device, whether or not it's your computer, your laptop, or if it's compatible with an Android phone, please make sure to do your research on it and let's get started. So let's start off with the non-screen tablets or the pen tablets, since they are kind of the most beginner and budget friendly. I want to talk about some of the benefits of non-screen tablets first, because I believe some people might have some misconceptions about them. Do you need a screen tablet to make amazing professional art? And the answer is no. Non-screen tablets are still great for beginners and professionals alike. Volve do not have a screen you can still make digital art in a more budget-friendly way. There might be like a slight getting used to not looking at your surface when you are drawing, but I promise you that you'll get used to it right away. Non-screen tablets are also nice because you can just use your computer or your laptop already as a screen, or if you have a smartphone that's compatible with the tablet, then you can definitely use that as well. Also, it's a thing that some people might not think about is that I also think the non-screen tablets are great for posture because it allows you to have a little bit of distance from your screen alongside with you don't have to crane your neck over your drawing surface to look at what you're drawing. So I definitely think that's also a plus. They come in a variety of sizes and I have the Line Friends edition of the Star G640 and the Deco 01 version 2. The Line Friends editions ones are no longer available so if you're interested in these tablets you can check out the original versions if you're interested. The surface of these tablets are light and thin but they're very durable and if you like to travel or plan on moving with your setup a lot then these types of tablets might be better suited for you. So the cable for it's super simple too, it's just one cable that you plug directly to your device to your tablet and you don't have to worry about powering up your tablet or anything like that with an exter like external power source you can just plug and go and you can work pretty much right away as long as you have the correct drivers for it but if you can and your budget allows it, I would recommend that you upgrade a little bit more in terms of the size at least. So the second model that I have is actually the Deco 01 version 2. This is also the Line Friends edition, but it's kind of more of a comfortable size and it has access to express keys for all your shortcuts to have extra access to other features. The larger size will allow you to move your hand and arm more, which will help you prevent those smaller repetitive movements that may cause more discomfort in your wrists. The size is still a good size to travel with as well due to its slim and light body. Other non-screen tablet models like the XP Pen Deco LW and the XP Pen Deco Pro MW support a Bluetooth feature as well so there's no need for cords for these ones as you will have several hours to be able to work cordless. These kinds of tablets are also still very affordable for a good drawing tablet. Some come in some cute colors as well, like black, blue, green, and pink. The Bluetooth edition also helps with the portability aspect, in my opinion. So you can take it to school, you can take it to your work, you can take it to if you're traveling like overseas or out of town or anything like that. It's just easier to pack it alongside, let's say, your laptop or your, th your phone. But if you're looking to get a graphic tablet or a display tablet and you want one of those ones that actually have a screen, then XP Pen also have some models that are great for introduction to screen tablets. The XP Pen Artist 10 Second has a 10.1 inch screen for drawing plus express keys on the side. It's small enough that you can technically still transport and easily make it a more of a portable drawing tablet if needed. It also comes in for different colors as well. The screen tablet has more of that natural feeling of drawing on a traditional surface as you draw directly onto the screen, so there will be a little bit less of that disconnect. So the setup is super easy as it usually has a 3-in-1 cable or a Type-C port for Android phones or laptops. These usually require to have a power source like an outlet to power your tablet, which also means that the tablet alone cannot run without 
another device being connected to it. An upgrade for this tablet could also be the 15.6 Pro version. This one has express keys and even a wheel slash button that allows you to shortcut it to even more features like brush size, zooming in and out, or rotating your canvas. The size is larger than the Artist 10 Second, but like the Artist 10 Second, the screen is fully laminated and the screen can be rotated to fit the correct orientation or if you need it to be a left-handed friendly setup. The case for the pen also acts as a stand with all the components like the nibs and the nib extractor. The pen has a tilt function as well if you want to kind of emulate kind of changing the brush width or edges similar to traditional brushes. And also this model is kind of more on the slim side, which gives it the capability to be transported. And it also comes with a portable stand. Just be careful about the screen when you're transporting it. But if you're looking to go even bigger or in going in kind of more the more expensive uh, zone compared to the previous tablets, but in my opinion, all these tablets are much more affordable options compared to some of the other brands out there. So for this model, it would be the XP Pen Artist 22R Pro and the screen size and workspace has become much larger, which is great for work and multitasking, but it also makes it not really suitable for transporting easily. So I wouldn't recommend it if you plan to travel a lot or you plan to take your tablet to places. I would recommend it for people who have more of a stationary kind of setup. The tablet has a 21.5 inch screen, which is plenty of space for drawing. This tablet also has express keys on both sides, which makes it friendly to both left-handed and right-handed users. It has a built-in stand as well. The built-in stand also has the 16 degrees to 90 degrees tilt, which makes drawing much more comfortable and it has more of an ergonomic design. But if you're like me and prefer to mount your tablet, then the stand at the back can actually be taken out and it has the standard, I think it's a VESA mount holes so that you can use it to mount to a desk or a wall or whatever you want to mount it to so that you have a little bit more freedom to move your tablet around without having to collapse or you know readjust your stand as often. Also, if you have a similar workstation to me and only own a laptop rather than a desktop, then this can act as a second monitor due to its size. So when you're finished with drawing, you can basically just prop it up or use it just as a second screen because the screen quality is very nice and the overall aesthetic kind of resembles a monitor. The Pro also supports the same tilt function as the 15.6 Pro as well. It has a great upgrade at an affordable price for its size and capabilities. One last upgrade. So mostly for the screen, and if you're kind of like me and don't really use Express Keys that much, then this upgrade might be more suited for you. The Artist 24 FHD is actually the current model that I have. It does not have any Express Keys, but the screen is perfect for what I need it to do. For drawing, it gives me a lot of space to have multiple tools or floating windows to work on. I also have it mounted to my desk to make moving it in and out a lot easier. It's heavier and larger, but I think that it's necessary at this size. So definitely recommend that this is more for a stationary setup as well. The screen is also fully laminated with an anti-glare film, but I believe all their display tablets are like this. I do use it as a second screen for editing and watching videos, so I have really no issues with the colors too much or with the quality of the screen. If you're looking for a tablet at the size, it is much more of an affordable option, especially just for the screen size and the workspace of it. So definitely look into it if you're planning to kind of upgrade the size of your tablet or the quality of your tablet, look into this one. I personally really enjoy it. So will the larger, more expensive models help improve your art? Well, no, but it can help kind of with just like your general setup or if you require a little bit more room or just want that upgrade because you can afford it, then definitely check out this one. For me, I tend to multitask a lot, so any screen that's bigger than my laptop screen is technically a plus for me, but also just having a second like display, but also having a second display just helps a lot when I'm not actually using it for drawing. So overall, if you're looking into getting into digital art, first figure out a reasonable budget for yourself, or if you're kind of impatient and just want to get into digital art at a lower cost, then I highly recommend looking at the non-screen tablets and its features first. 
actually one of my favorite artists on Instagram that works at like a professional level with beautiful art still uses her non-screen tablet in paint tool size for like the last few years. I think it's been like six, like I don't know, six or seven years that she's been doing this. So, you know, you don't need a screen tablet to do professional art. So it is an option. Just make sure to put in the practice and the work and you'll get there. I have this huge tablet in front of me, but I don't deem myself there yet either. So definitely put in the work. Hope that this can help you guys just a little bit. So please check out the description for any promotions and sales of some of the tablets mentioned above. Then hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight on potentially what you might be looking for for a tablet. And you know, you deserve it if you want an upgrade and you can afford it. So definitely go check out the links in the description and thank you again to XP Pen for your wonderful help to making wonderful drawing tools for us artists. And I think that's it from me. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!